Hello and welcome to episode 20 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on all things fishing. Building a makeshift fishing rod and then after learning the relevant skills we will be building a fishing trap and filling it with bait. Before I begin I was going to make this episode on butterflies because previously I showed you how to make that good the inspiration potion but you needed butterflies to make it well the, the, uh, I, I can completely lost the fact that uh, I needed to show you butterflies so hence I will be there in the next episode I couldn't do it this episode because you will see that we need to unlock some skills first before we could do it so the correct order of things progression wise is in the order that I've chose to do it in my opinion that is you could have of course bought butterflies from the market that I showed you in the previous episode and paid between one to five silver each for them but we'll now deal with that in the next episode so butterflies will be the next episode all things butterflies also I want to thank Bobby and Sick for pointing out that if we do not in increase our humours evenly i.e. keep them in close proximity to each other we will get penalised by having to eat more food to catch one up if we get if we let it get too far below the others I will recommend in that case that you keep all your humours no more than five points apart so thank you guys for sharing that so looking at my humours you'll see I've got my yellow bile at 10 and my um, black bile still at 5 which is I'll have to start raising that to 10 my phlegm to 10 it's at 8 at the moment and my blood's at 8 and get that to 10 so once they're all at 10 then we will reevaluate jumping up them all 5 more points each but we'll see how we're doing inspiration wise because I don't want to I want to use potions whilst gobbling but only if I need them so we'll take it slow and steady also when you log in it is always a good idea to check your claim stone is topped up okay so let's take a quick look at that okay there's our claim stone so we'll right click on it and it uh, needs 24 silver to be topped back up so we'll bring the pocket up we will right click on our purse left click take press the enter key and then just right click with the money on our claim stone notice it's deducted the money from the silver and it's topped up and then just right click back on your purse okay so there we are that's the first thing to always check make sure your claim stone is topped up it doesn't use much silver each day as you can notice I mean I don't know that is how long it's been since I last topped it up four or five days feels like it anyway next let's have a look at them hides that uh, we finished with in the last episode see they should easily be ready by now to check just right click on your drying frame and then as you can see now they are called rabbit skin when we put them in they were raw rabbit skins they are now classed as dried skins so if we oops what am I doing we bring up our inventory and if we shift left click that puts it in our pocket notice the drying frames now empty and let's do the same for this one let's grab them so we can go and sell them yes they're not worth a particularly load of money but when you start bearing it factoring in all the ways that we're making money your money will soon increase let's put it this way them free skins will nearly have paid the amount back for the token we just need another free perhaps to do that but it all adds up let's have a look at our compost bin yep that's nearly full so I'm gonna have to what I've been doing is keeping an eye on it whoops and as you can see I've built more containers but somewhere here you can see I've been emptying it into more containers keep an eye on your compost bin have a minimum of one at the moment so you've at least got some to start when we start farming you will notice though that I will build more as soon as I can but things are getting a little um, congested here as in too many items so I really need to start making money and expanding but all in good time we will make money so let's go to work and build our first 
component in our fishing path, which will be a makeshift fishing rod. There, there, are, there are two more fishing rods that you can get. One is a much harder fishing rod to make, which I'll make in a later episode. And the other fishing rod, the best one, can be purchased from the cash store. So that is all I will say about them, because I've never used that last one. And the only one I've ever used, in fact, is the makeshift fishing rod. Now, we will need four branches, two hay, and one flint to make a makeshift fishing rod. So, I know where the branches are. Hay, I've got grass, so we can make some. So, and I know I put a flint somewhere. The question is, where? Like I said to you before, when you start getting lots of containers, things start to get a little messy. Well, probably not for you, but for the gamester, they do start to get extremely messy, especially when he starts to build too many, when he starts to go too crazy, because he likes building containers. And yes, whoop, there was a branch actually, it saves us having to pick that. Now, I know there's got to be one in one of these if not oh no look at that there's a snake we don't do snakes instead what we do is we go and get this stone a flint that's over here you see on the mini map that's a flint so we go over there and we stay away from that uh, snake i really don't want to get knocked out because i've been building up my um inspiration so we can progress the series although it's not important because my main character could easily buy me a uh, some good potions to use so i'm not too worried about it i'm more concerned with where this flint has gone can anyone see it if they can let me know let it go i'm sure there was a flint it showed over here the game does do that sometimes ah right i'm oh it must be this stone No, there it is. Right, okay, gotcha. Okay, so we have our flint. Let's find the makeshift fishing rod. Mind you, we need two hay first, so we're going to need ten grass. Five, ten. Yep, so we know, have enough. To make the hay, remember, craft processing materials and then click hay. And we want two. There's one. And there's two. Right, so let's reevaluate. So we've got two hay, we've got our flint, we just need three more branches. And we most definitely need to stay away from that snake. How nice of him to come and visit while I'm recording. Okay, let's get three more branches. Okay, now we have the materials necessary to make our makeshift pivot fishing pole. Now let's see if I can show you what the snake looks like on the mini map which I wish I'd have thought of doing sooner. Well if you replay the video you'll notice the snake and what it looks like. Right let's make this fishing pole. Okay so to make it we go to tools. Do we go to tools? Actually, I've caught myself off guard here. Bear with me while I have a moment of stupidity. Okay, so. Let's have a quick look around. I thought it was in there, under tools. How silly of me. Right, let me just have a hunt for a fishing pole. It's here somewhere. In fact, probably the best thing I can do is go to the Salem wiki quickly and have a look. So let's type in makeshift. Oops, yeah, there we go. Makeshift. Oh, wrong one. There, that one. Okay, makeshift fishing rod. And if we have a look, so what do we need? Fishing. Ah, okay, I bet I've jumped ahead of myself in my notes. Or I've completely missed that out. 
Okay, so we need to learn the fishing skill. Okay, to do that, we will bring up the skills list, the proficiencies list, and we're looking for fishing. There it is. We need 300 flora and fauna, 400 hunting and hide working, and 200 thread and needle. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I knew I'd cough at some point. Right, okay, now I believe the an abandoned cobweb will give us all that we need. So flora and fauna, yes, hunting and hide working, yes, ah, it's 50 short and thread and needle. So anyway, whist, well, what, wait a minute, what about the grass whistle? Flora and fauna, yes, hunting and hide working, yes, and thread and needle. Right, so one grass whistle. There we go, now we learn fishing. Now we have the fishing rod. Sorry about that. This game does tend to twist you up in um, in knots, especially if your notes are done in such a silly way that no man or beast would be able to read them. But I like to do that to myself. Why? I have no idea. Anyway, let's click on, so starting from the beginning, you go to craft and fishing equipment, which is new and makeshift fishing rod and you'll see we have the components notice you can either use raw cotton jute or abandoned um, cobwebs <coughs> sorry excuse me so we're going to use two abandoned cobwebs because that's what we the, with the component we have. So we'll click craft. Okay, so we've got our fishing rod. Let's check my notes. So it wasn't hay, that's strange. I read from the wiki hay, but it must have changed because uh, they must have made some changes. That's what's caught me out as well. Okay, well anyway, we now have a fishing rod. The next thing that we will need is a lure. So the first place you'll check is your compost bin. I've already taken them out though, in keeping with leaving the compost bin room. Oops, let's go back in there. I'm gonna need them. Okay, so I know I have some common earthworms. That's what we're looking for. I think they're in up here. Oh, I hope I don't get attacked by that snake while I'm busy doing this. Right, there we go. That'll do nicely. But I do want, we'll need a couple more. Cool, I mean, if I'm this bad losing stuff with only a few containers, can you imagine what I'm like when I've got about 100 here? It's not going to be pretty. I can tell ye that. There we go, that's what I wanted. So let's grab four of them. Why, you're asking? Well, first of all, we have our fishing rod, but we can't use the fishing rod until we have a lure. So to use a lure, lures can be wor common earthworms, or um, let's just have a check to see if it tells us a list of the lures. No, not there. We will look at them, though, in a moment. So for now, we're going to use the worm as a law. To use a worm as a law, left click to pick it up, right click the fishing rod. That now, as you can see, has under contents common earth worm. So you first have to insert your worm or your law into your fishing rod. Next, we must bring up our character window. Both hands must be empty. And then we can either shift, left click and or left click and drag it to your left hand. So now we have the fishing rod in our hand. Okay, let's go fishing. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. So we'll come down here to the water. Now this is, this colored area here is shallow water used for filling up things like bottles, buckets and other containers, barrels, this is the water we need for fishing, deep water. 
Now to fish, we'll go to the edge. We will left click on our adventure button. We will then left click on the new button that's appeared that says fish. So left click, it will cross to cro change to this icon. And then we right click on an area in the deep blue. Actually, I checked, I'll say that again. We left click on an area. There you go. And there we are. We're now fishing. Let's see what we catch, if anything. And there we go. So we now have a silt dwelling mud snapper. A fish. <clears throat> okay, so let me check my notes. Okay, that was fun, but there is mu a much better way to fish, and you can do it while you're offline. The Gamester only does this type of fishing for obvious reasons. I do not want to waste my earthworms when there is many things much better to use them for. Although, I will mention one thing. They have also made a recent change in Salem, and we are now going to make, by the way, a shell fishing trap. Shell fishing traps used to catch fish and shellfish, both combined. Um, but I believe in a recent update that they've done that shell fishing traps now only catch shellfish. In all, in the last few weeks, I've only been catching shellfish. So it would appear the only way to catch fish at this moment now is using a fishing rod. I believe they did that because otherwise there wasn't really much point in using a fishing rod. So just be aware of that. Anyway, I'll be showing you my fishing traps in the future and what they fill up with so we can see the facts. So, now before we build a shellfish trap, we must learn two new skills. And this was the reason why we couldn't do butterflies yet. We need to learn, well actually one new skill. I'd put fishing as well, but of course we had to learn fishing before we went fishing. Only a lunatic like me would put it this way around. So anyway, we need to learn one new skill, which is patchwork rags. To learn patchwork rags, we will need 200 arts and crafts and 660 thread and needle. To achieve this, we will simply use one abandoned fishing rod, cobweb. Okay, so let's find the skill first of all, patch and rags. There we go, patchwork and rags. It's like I said, we study what, oops, we eat first. Let's see, one of them. Okay, now we study abandoned cobweb when we've got enough black bile. Mm. And so let's click buy. Okay, let me just check my notes. Okay, that has now opened up many tailoring recipes. One is the snake skin, skin um, belt. And uh, we will have a look as well towards the end of this episode, just to look quickly look and see what else has opened up. Also, we can now make ourselves lots of clothing. But of course, what we want for this episode is the shellfish trap. Let's go to work and build a shellfish trap. We will need ship six sharpened sticks and one fibre netting. So let's minimise that. Let's go chop six logs or blocks as they're called. Okay, I will need my axe, which, oh, well, that's handy. That saves me cutting one. Oh, here we go. And I thought I had everything ready in my pocket, but that doesn't matter. Thankfully, there is not that many containers for me to look through at the moment. But there we go. Right, so what we need to do is take off our fishing rod. That's done with for the moment. Let's put that away. Let's put the axe back and let's get a chop in. Okay, so we need to chop five more blocks. Okay, we've got our blocks. We now need to right click the whittling bench 
and go to craft and processing and materials and sharpen stick create all this removes a small amount of insanity by the way I know I haven't covered insanity yet but just I will let you know as we go along this removes a small amount when you whittle and also notice the wood choppings we will be picking them up because it's always useful to have wood choppings as you're going to see in a minute okay so that's our six sharpened sticks we now need a fiber netting to the easy simple way to make a fiber netting is to simply use you guessed it 12 cobwebs how simple is that Okay, so we go to craft and we go to processing and materials and fiber netting. Okay, we've got our 12 cobwebs. Let's click craft. Now you can use jute and cotton, but abandoned cobwebs, you find them as you go along in the world. They're the easiest one to use. So there we are, and that's what the gamester wants to do show you the easy way to do things. Okay, now we have the components. Now we can make our shellfish trap. Now there is one important two important things to know about the shellfish trap. You have to build it on land before you can use it. So don't stand over the water and try and build it, stand on the land. To build the shellfish trap go to build and tools and utilities and shellfish trap now left click the land has to be flat if I remember correctly so I'm not sure I'm gonna oh I'm low on black bar let's eat can't remember if it has to be flat so we'll just try Oh, there we are. Right, let's sh add our sharpened sticks. So hold the left shift key down, left click, and roll the wheel. That's got them. And put the fiber netting in. Oh, ah, we need one more. Let's click build. Okay, I must be going crazy. I thought I'd chopped enough. Apparently not. So we need one more. There we go. Let's now craft the sharp, last sharpened stick. Let's use the whittling bench. Okay, let's now add this last component. Okay, so here is our shellfish trap. Now I'll tell you now, one of the most confusing things I found when I first started playing Salem and got onto fishing was how do you use this trap? Where do you use this trap? So let's show you. So what we have to do, go to your adventure window, go to lift, pick up the shellfish trap. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, let's zoom out. You do not put it in the shallows. You have to put it in the deep water. What we will do, let's bring up our deed. Uh, no, I didn't click there. Let's bring up the deed. Okay, so we want to drop it somewhere in the water within our deed. So, oops, let's walk around that. Oh, I must learn that swimming because it is so annoying. Okay. Now, we need to right click on the blue there so I might have to learn the swimming skill just to place it which is silly because I don't normally have to but anyway let's try there you have to basically I don't want to cross the water this is a little buggy with the game I'm afraid when it comes to the edges of waters it can be a little buggy but that's why I found it so difficult let's show you what happens if you place it in ah there we go so I have managed to place it because the slope goes down to pl you know if your fishing trap is placed correctly because it is submerged under the water but I want to show you the wrong way of placing it so let's pick it back up so you just left click on it right let's place it here 
Okay, that is not submerged. That isn't going to catch anything. Okay, you can wait as long as you want. You aren't going to get anything. Let's pull it back now correctly in the water. So we'll pick it up. Okay, we will now place it back here where it was deep enough. Let's walk over. Yeah, you see, I'm doing this deliberately so you can see how much messing around, but you will get it eventually. That's the point I want to get across to you. Do you see how it is below the water level? That is correctly placed. That can now catch fish if we have bait in it. So let's now look at that. What bait, you say? That's what you're saying. Materials that can be added to a fishing trap for bait include any plant, wood choppings, pumpkin flesh, seeds, use just one seed, not a stack, many cooked foods, worms, bone, meat shreds, any raw steak, any raw meat, cut, dead war bite, war bite crickets and any fish. So as you can see there's a big long list. We're going to use four worms couple of wood choppings and a piece of grass and the rest we will make just leaves. There we go. There's all some of the different baits you can use. I just read to you the rest of them. Now what we do, we just leave this fishing trap, that's this shellfish fishing trap to do its stuff. And how cute is that? Can you see the little animation of the fish swimming around? But there we are. There is our shellfish fishing trap. We filled it with bait and in the next episode I will show you, well actually maybe not the next episode because that's going to be along shortly, but in a, when it starts to fill up then I will show you what we catch. Now as you can see, one thing you should notice in Salem, as we are slowly progressing, progressing there are all sorts of different jobs opening up to us like checking our compost bin if we've been hunting putting our hides on the rack the shellfish oh you just wait and see how much fun we're gonna have in the beginning you're not kept that busy but as things move along you will have a whole plethora of wonderful things to choose from in game to do there really is so much fun to be had Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry for my bungling and fluffing and waffling, um, but you have come to expect that all by now. Bye-bye.